Hello, my creative friends, and welcome to another episode of The Daily Prompt. This is Technique Tuesday, and Technique Tuesday, we're basically going to dig into fast screenplay, and we're going to pull out some sort of a, a technique or approach to the actual writing, something something specific, practical, that you can start to apply to your own writing. Um, what we're going to talk about today is character related. This is, I know, I know that a lot of this series so far has been about mindset, and it's been about perspective, and it has been about problems process and all that stuff because frankly I think that stuff is far more important than some of these details which will help you from a practical standpoint but which really only make full sense within the context of the whole thing but anyway I know that you're interested in the technique stuff uh, and, and the writers are always looking for those kinds of details so I really want to make the Tuesdays about technique building and helping you understand some of the techniques that I use and some of the approaches that we use within the fast system and within just to create stories and screenplays that are actually effective. Now, ultimately, what I want to talk about today is character because ultimately character is the, the vehicle through which the audience experiences the story. If you think of the character, specific, specifically the, the central character, the hero, the main character, the protagonist, which are different things, by the way, each one of those is a different thing. Um, a hero is ultimately the protagonist and the main character blended together. Um, the, the, the main character is the character whose eyes we experience the story through. The protagonist is the character whose actions dictate the plot. So a hero is a character whose eyes we see the story through and whose actions dictate the plot. Technically speaking, you can separate those two out. You can have them serve, uh, you can have two different characters serve each of those functions in a story. A great example, the one that I always tend to use is the Shawshank Redemption, where the red character, the Morgan Freeman character is the main character. The protagonist is the Andy Dufresne character whose actions dictate the directions of the plot. So... In any event, that's not actually the point of this one, but there's a little tip for you. Um, ultimately, when we talk about story, and we talk about how, I talked about this in, in a much, much earlier episode, about how all story ultimately is about presenting an idea or a, a, a theme or something that you're trying to express to the audience. And the way that we express that to the audience is we show a character go through a series of events, something either the character or the, the world around the character, something through this course of events changes. And it's through that change that we experience the meaning or the message or the point or the purpose or, or whatever it is that the, the writer's trying to express to the audience. Now, how do we actually show that a character has changed over time? That's a, in a, one of the great problems, one of the reasons that books tend to be more fondly viewed and uh, perceived than movies is because in a book, you spend a lot more time with the character and the nuances of the different sort of uh, times and places up so you can see the evolution of the change more in more detail, more nuance. In a movie, obviously, we only have an hour and a half, two hours to show a character actually change. And so it'll often feel a little bit like that change happened pretty quickly because we went from he was a jerk to he was a really nice guy through a couple of cliche events. And so how do we ultimately show character change in a way that's going to actually be believable to an audience and resonate with an audience and not feel forced or faked or, or flimsy, right? So one of the ways that we can do that is by identifying character traits. We can identify specifically, if you take a character, any character that you're working on right now, and you give that character, you identify three specific defining traits. They're shy, they're aggressive, they're uh, arrogant, whatever it might be, right? Some trait that defines that character. Now, in order to show character change over time, you don't really want a character to become entirely something that they're not, because that's not really believable. It's not, but we human beings don't really change all that much over time. We change in specific ways. We change in certain, in certain nuances. So the tip that I have for you today is when you think about showing character change, think about three traits and then 
make one of those traits, traits change over time. If you can make one of those traits change over time, you're ultimately going to have a character who makes a change that feels authentic to us. Now that change cannot happen overnight. It has to happen incrementally. Part of what your story is going to be about is showing the stages of that change. So the change doesn't happen. A character is not a jerk. It has one interaction with somebody and is suddenly, you know, Mother Teresa, right? So it's at the end of the day, what we need to do is we need to show the, the evolution of that change. If you show the change for all three traits and you turn them from someone who's a total jerk into a total angel, it's not going to be believable. It's not going to be authentic, particularly in a hour and a half, two hour time frame of a movie. Now, one of the reasons that we like to watch movies so much, one of the reasons they're so popular in culture, uh, that, that uh, television entertainment in that way, is because we like to, we like to watch a synthesis synthesized, sort of synopsized change. We like to watch change happen quickly. We like to see people grow and evolve or circumstances um, affect people in a more easily digestible way. But it still has to feel authentic. It still has to feel like something that we can actually believe in. And so that's that trick right there, not really a trick, but that technique right there for Technique Tuesday is one of the ways that you're going to be able to do that, one of the ways that we're gonna actually bring real authenticity to the character change. So for example, if you have a character who's a real jerk at the beginning, we wanna show we want to show situations where the character is that jerk at the beginning, but they have those three traits, remember, so the, so that the, the jerk trait <laughs> is the trait that we wanna highlight, but we also need those other traits that make them a, a person that we're interested in following, someone that we're interested in watching, someone that we can possibly care about at some point along the way. So that when we first watch that, when we first engage with that character, we're interested in them despite the negative trait. The negative trait is often simply from their point of view. It's simply their way of, of the way they think based upon their background and their experience and their window on the world. It's how they think they need to be to deal with whatever situation or reality they're dealing with. Now, as the story goes along and those, as they start making those that progress, situations happen, events occur, and they start to see that the, that that tool doesn't work as they move along, or they discover a new opportunity to be better somehow. And if you make that one trait change incrementally over the course of your story, then you're going to see the effect of a character change over time. It's a really, really simple way to take an otherwise flat one-dimensional character and make them a three-dimensional character. Because if you have a character who's a jerk at the beginning, but has two other traits, maybe they're nice to dogs or whatever, <laughs> but those other traits don't change, then as we see the character's changing trait, we also notice the, the, the traits that are staying the same. And as we notice those traits staying the same over time, at the end, it doesn't feel like a different person. It feels like the same person who has changed in a way that's relevant to the story. So in order to apply this to your own writing and your own situation, to use this as your own daily prompt, here's how you do it. So think about the project that you're working on, think about the story that you're trying to develop, think about the characters that you're building along the way. Now you may have a lot of detailed background and dossier on that person, or you may just have sort of a flimsy idea. If either way, if you take that character and you put three traits on them, you define three definitive traits and you say, which one of those traits is going to change over time? And then you plot how that change happens incrementally. A, you've already fleshed out a chunk of your story, some of what is necessary for your story, but you've also taken this character and lifted them off the page and made them a bit more three-dimensional. And that, my friends, is Technique Tuesday for this week. I thank you so much for watching. Remember to take at least a little bit of action today, whether it's 10 minutes, whether it's one hour, whether it's 10 hours, whatever you can afford to do. Click the subscribe and the bell. Like us on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff and take action and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.